We've had Elvis since 2007 and we've never had to catch him. So this is a pretty big deal for us, the team, and Elvis. Well, three, two, one. That final tooth is slightly stuck. And Robin's needing to get right in deep into that cavity to remove it. And I'll tell you what, Elvis is not happy about it. It's early morning on the New South Wales Central Coast and tensions are running high at the Australian Reptile Park, especially for resident croc expert Billy. It can be really, really dangerous. Um, just everyone really listen in today when we're, when we're calling shots. Today's a big day. We're catching our massive saltwater crocodile, Elvis. Nothing's rushed today. Everything's as slow as it needs to be. Obviously, Elvis is our priority. The vets are here, ready to rock and roll. So we've got some concerns with Elvis and his teeth. He's actually got a tooth coming out underneath his jaw here, which is really unusual. So we've got the vets in, we've got x-ray machines there ready to go. And, and basically we're just gonna catch him x-ray and see what we can do. Wrangling a cranky 500 kilo croc is going to be extremely dangerous. But park boss Tim knows that Billy and his team urgently need to check Elvis's teeth. People think of crocs like these big beast monsters and they can rip each other's arms off and survive. Yeah, they can. But a tooth is a type of infection that doesn't go away. It can so easily get into the bone, jaw bone up into the skull, and infection in bone is really, really hard to treat, especially in cold-blooded reptiles. So something as simple as this could lead to death. Please just keep yourself as calm as you can. Be mindful of others, anyone in the enclosure. Um, you're really listening because, yeah, we're dealing with a, a, a massive crocodile that can be very dangerous. I know my animals, but not like Billy knows crocs. He's got extensive experience up throughout Northern Australia, so it's over to Bill, and this needs to be executed flawlessly. We've had Elvis since 2007, and we've never had to catch him, so this is a pretty big deal for us, the team, and Elvis. Even for experienced handlers like Jake, an encounter with a deadly croc is daunting. Today is a first for me, it's a first for the whole crew, and uh, the blood's pumping, but of course, goes without saying, so, so dangerous. First up, gonna jump into the enclosure like we're doing a routine feed. Gonna go in there with a bit of food on a stick, nothing out of the normal, walk around, swim him, get him to come out of the water like he's gonna get that bit of food. Let's get it up in that corner, mate. But trust isn't high on cranky Elvis's agenda. So it's not long before it's game on. Let's see what he does here. Let him go. Let him roll. Keep that pressure on. Keep that pressure on. Keep that pressure on. At the Australian Reptile Park, Cranky Croc Elvis is living up to his reputation. Just keep him facing forward. As the team tries to capture him for urgent dental work. Just keep into this corner. Don't let him in that water. Keep it put, try and swing Pull past him. him. Swing past, okay. swing past, swing past. We actually have to completely reposition ourselves. He's just gone, done these huge big rolls and we've had to sweep straight past him. We're gonna throw a, a nice, damp, heavy blindfold straight over him make him feel a bit more secure and safer. And then, to help Elvis with this procedure and keep him as safe as possible, we're gonna use a muscle relaxant on him, which, which obviously relaxes him right out. It also acts as a short-term memory loss, so it makes everything safer for everyone. Tail is really dangerous. Head's dangerous. Vet Robin is standing by to administer the muscle relaxant via an injection behind Elvis's hind leg. Elvis is a very, very large crocodile with a reputation for being cranky and it always is a bit nerve-wracking to do that sort of thing. People's lives are at stake. If we don't do our jobs correctly, somebody could get hurt. And Elvis isn't happy. Keep that pressure on. So we've just had to completely 180 once again, back to where we originally started. Then he's rolled again. Blindfold's back on. Now we're cooking. We'll let him sit for probably 15 or 20 minutes while that relaxant starts to work. We're gonna place the big timber jaw chock straight into his mouth. So he just basically bites down on it. It's nice soft timber, bit of rubber over it. Well done. 
We're gonna go over the top of that with a binding rope to try and give us a bit more security for when we actually jump onto the crocodile so his jaws won't be completely unrestrained. And then we're actually gonna jump on him and fully restrain him. Pull that shit up all the way. And we're just gonna come in and just straight on. If he goes wild and he's not rolling, we just just ride it out. Yes. And push him down. I'll be I'll be right behind his ears, yeah. like in that groove there, and you'll be right on his shoulders. Just remember Dylan, Mitch, Sam. Just no, main thing is not too much. Don't forward pressure. It's all down. Pinny. Oh. Three, two, one. Keep that leg up, fast, leg up. At the Australian Reptile Park, nerves are on edge for the croc wrangling team, as keepers like Haley work to subdue cranky Elvis. The adrenaline is pumping. There are so many different aspects that could go wrong right now. If he does a death roll or he flicks his tail, we could be seriously hurt. First thing you gotta do when you jump on a crocodile is you lift the front arms and the back legs straight up behind him. Oh, that is on those legs, you got one there Mitch? Got one. Yeah. Sam, you might have to lift, lift up a little. They're so powerful, even with you know all us keepers on top of him, he can still have a bit of a thrash. That leg up Jake, get it up. Well done mate. As an extra precaution, Elvis's powerful jaws are taped securely. Help him bring it right across. Keep that leg up fast, leg up. So the team can start to move his giant body with the utmost safety. Bring that board in as close as you can. The power in Elvis, it's just muscle from nose to tail. You know, a, a species that's been around since the age of dinosaurs. When he kicks, the power you feel, it's overwhelming. It's also dangerous for us and him. Okay, we'll lift his head first. At any second, you know, he could explode. Hang on, hold. We're on, we're on. When he does that, we've got to watch out that even a leg doesn't go under. You get a dislocated knee or something like that. Or that Elvis doesn't hurt himself. So my heart is pumping out of my chest. Try and lift up the board there, everyone. Ready? Two, three. A few more work on the tail. Pull that tail to you, mate. Nick, that's it, pull it. One, two, three. Well done. Good stuff. Well done, Jake, you're up. Very he's building his build. Good. Hold on. Come on. Right, Alice. Well done. We've nailed it. It was a textbook capture. He's restrained on the board, and now the vets are ready to go. First up, Robin and the vet team will x ray Elvis's jaw to reveal exactly what's going on beneath the surface. The news is worse than they hoped. Yeah. Oh wow. So we've done the x-rays and they've revealed several problem teeth that need to come out ASAP. And now Dr. Robin's got a big job on her hands. This tooth is certainly not supposed to be coming out of the bottom of his jaw. So what's happened is that's caused an abscess. That's, you can see there's a swelling there. Putting some local in here so even though he's sedated this doesn't hurt. And then we'll dig this tooth out. Crocodiles shed their teeth constantly. And if they don't erupt correctly, which when they emerge, then they become impacted and infected. And there's teeth still behind that that are trying to come out. And if we don't get the infected one out, he could definitely get osteomyelitis, which is a bone infection in his jaw, which would be very, very difficult to treat. Yeah, so I'm gonna take out this bottom right one, coming up from underneath and getting it out because it's all connected. That will make it much less painful for him. We'll make this a little bit more I know, buddy. It was about ready to come out. It just can't, couldn't come out the right direction. So that should have been going up like this and not out like that. So now Dr. Robin's actually extracted that first tooth. We've done a second x-ray to see what's going on behind that tooth. And it's revealed two more that are sitting in line like this. You've got a partial, and then you've got one that looks like a normal healthy erupting tooth. So we're gonna make a hole in the top and try to get that out. I would prefer it come out yeah. because then we can flush and flush and flush. Yeah. It just depends on what it looks like. Yes, there's the tooth right there. So see, that was a second tooth. This is probably younger or more recent eruption than the one we pulled out from the bottom. The first two impacted teeth have come out relatively easily, 
but the next one is wedged in deep. That final tooth is slightly stuck. And Robin's needing to get right in deep into that cavity to remove it. And I'll tell you what, Elvis is not happy about it. Go in and go on. That was one went on. The power in Elvis's jaws is enormous. If that chalk slips and my hand gets pinned in there, I will lose it. Get ready for a kick. At the Australian Reptile Park, Vet Robin is working frantically to try to remove the final problem tooth wedged tightly in Elvis's jaw. And the big dangerous crocodile is not happy. Now you got some movement. Myself and the team, we've got to continue to restrain Elvis even further because he's just full of so much power. Even with straps over him, jaws restrained, he's just thrashing out of control. So we've been here for two hours trying to get this tooth out. Oh, there you go. Finally, it's come on out, and Dr. Robin has done an amazing job. I love doing vet work on things that are different. It keeps me interested. I've been a vet for a lot of years, and when I get to do things like Elvis, it just makes my day. I can help him, and I'm doing something that's very exciting. We're done. So the final tooth's out, and Dr. Robin's really happy. While we've got him caught up, we're gonna take the opportunity to do a big health check right across him and make sure he's tip-top condition. It's a rare opportunity to be up close and personal with this cranky but much-loved old resident. We've got this half-ton dinosaur, and you know, as, as, as hectic as it all is, you get time to appreciate him in ways that you wouldn't otherwise. All righty, so... And before he's released, there's a burning question the team is keen to answer. So I've been lucky enough to work with Elvis on and off since 2007, and I thought he was about maybe 4.6 metres. What do we got? 4.74. Yes. But it turns out he's actually 4.75 metres, which is huge. While he's still restrained, we'll try and move him on the board back over here. Right, the procedure's done, and now it's time to actually release him back into the pond. Two, one. With the finish line in sight, Tim and his team can't relax yet. Releasing Elvis will be extremely dangerous. Three, two, one. He's on the board, we've swung it around towards, so he's facing right at the water's edge. We'll release his hands and his feet. So you can do this one if you want. We'll start unstrapping, starting from the tail, working his way back to the head. All right, so we're pretty loose. Liz, jump out. All right, are you guys are good? Yeah. This is probably the most dangerous part of the capture because his jaws are going to be completely unrestrained and he can literally just swing around and just start biting. So it's got to go really smooth and I'm very nervous. All righty. Ready? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Straight out. He's still got the mouth chock there, so I'm just gonna throw a little rope over the edge of that and flick it out. And then hopefully he's just gonna go straight into the water. So Elvis sat there for a few minutes, had a bit of a look around. He's seen that water, went you beauty, he's just gone straight back in. Sweet. Good boy. And that's a great result for us. He's, he's already doing laps of the pond, and um, that's a big win. Today's capture restraint, the whole process was absolutely textbook. I'm so proud of the team, and I'm so happy that everything went so well for Elvis. Nice. Big day. Hey? Well done. <laughs> I reckon Elvis is going to be much happier now. We all know how bad a toothache is, and, and he had quite a bad one. So that's all gone, and, and I would imagine he's probably not going to be as cranky as he used to be. And a week after surgery to have his impacted teeth removed, Crocodile Elvis is pain-free and has made a full recovery. But Reptile Park staff say the old-timer is still as grumpy as ever.
If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way.